How's the view? The view is beautiful. I mean, look at that. It's so peaceful here. All right, guys, let's go meet our host. Not him, that's just Charlie Dog. So I'd like to introduce everybody to my subscribers, Catherine and Mohammed. Hello. And everyone make sure they, in comments, they thank them for letting us come and see their new home. You guys excited? We are. Very. Excited. Yeah. Well, first of all, I want to say buongiorno. Oh, buongiorno. Like, yeah, Como stai? Tutto bene. <laughs> We're all trying to learn Italian yeah. as fast as we can. Um, you guys aren't here all the time. You've been owning this now for what, almost nine months? Almost nine months. Wow. And how was the experience of actually buying it from afar? From afar, we had a great realtor. And we were with Property Organizer. So I feel like they took care of us. Everything was taken care of. It's another job. And so I think it, at times we weren't prepared for another job. <laughs> you know, all the papers, I need this, I need that, I need this, I need that. But it was great. Oh, good. And how long did it, from when you guys found the house to when you were able to close, how long did that take? We, we made our offer in March and we closed October 31st. Wow, well, so like yeah. half a year. Correct. But I think mostly because we were so, we were so far away and then the previous owner, we had an agreement to split the harvest he didn't want the full harvest of olive oil ah. and he wanted to teach my son because he knew my son that was his goal is to do the olives and so he said i'll split it with you if you come back and i think once word got out we were coming back we had our tickets scheduled and everything they kind of put off closing the house without us and let us be here that's nice yeah yeah and that's nice that they uh helped jamal your son Learn yeah. about. Uh, I remember my. I, I remember my first olive harvest. We did our. We did. We only got to seven trees, and we got eighty-four kilos of olives and made eleven liters of olive oil. But it was a lot of fun. Oh, it yeah. just started to rain. We couldn't couldn't yeah, continue, so and then everything harvest. was wet, and it was right and at the end of the harvest, and blah blah and, blah. Yep. It, it's always something that you hear about. Uh, people harvest olives, and they take it to the mill and the press, and you know to. To be here, I kind of caught the end of it because she came, you know, earlier than me. But it was just, a, it was a nice experience, you know, kind of to have your own olive oil. Well, the liquid gold. Yeah, liquid yeah, the gold. liquid gold. That's right. And and isn't it nice how much stuff? I mean, I saw you guys have what pear trees on the property. There's, it looked like there's actually those are walnut trees. Walnut oh, walnut ten. trees. We have ten walnut trees. Wow. Uh, yeah. Even and then better. we have the the, the forest up here. Because we're not here all year round. There's a lot of things that we're learning as we've come at different times of the year that we're probably missing <laughs> out on. Somebody else is harvesting and enjoying. <laughs> but that's okay. This is how hot it is. Even my boys aren't walking around. And thanks for letting me bring the boys up. Oh. It's, just, it's just too hot to leave them at our right. farm yeah. for very long. Now, you just mentioned the, the woods you have up here. You have seven hectares yes, of totally. forest. No, uh, it's a total because we've got a hundred olive trees. Okay. So from the olive trees to the forest, it's a total of seven hectares. Seven hectares. So that's about 15, 16 U.S. acres. acres. Yes. So, wow, that's a lot of land. Yeah. And I'm sure you get to go hunting and get your chingiali. Well, that's and... down the road. That's kind of the stuff you're going <laughs> to well, learn down the road. You know? Vegetarian, no? <laughs> she's so. vegetarian, so she's not going with, hunting anytime soon. I'm good with grass. <laughs> well, can we see inside please, the house? Please, that would be please. awesome. Please. Come in. Hey. Hello. It's Oli. Where have you been? You were over in the barbecue with Jamal. Yes. We're getting ready to have a feast. Go ahead, babe. Oh, my God. Oh, wow. That's a big kitchen. Gina. Yes. So we stayed, my son and I stayed here in um, April for pruning. And 
we ran out of oil and therefore we ran out of heat. Mm. So we started a fire. A lot of little things you have to learn about your home, especially if you buy a farm. The fireplace has the aqua heat. Oh. So the water will, we started hearing the water boil. Mm. And we had to turn the switch downstairs for the water to disperse through all the radiators. Ah. <laughs> ah. A little fear there, but we were warm. We were so warm. And the Good. fireplace was awesome. Nice. So only used it once. So I can't even imagine being cold right now. I it's going to be like 36 or 37 today. So, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, this is a nice... Uh... So this was the previous owner, Dina and Paolo. Dina's great-great-grandfather's dining table wow. and it, it expands from both ends and so we have chairs forever to sit big big groups nice wow and the kitchen looks like it's pretty new yes i yeah. mean within yes. the last 10 years right for yes. sure yes yeah that's nice not as rustic as i would prefer <laughs> don't worry your renters will take care of that yes, yes. they'll make it rustic we'll get, we'll get rustic soon enough and then wow. i can really make it rustic <laughs> Yeah, no, it's nice. Look at this thing. Honey. Yeah. Yeah, we wow. love these old big yes. <laughs> marble. I mean, one thing you know, as far as living in the U.S., uh, it's like something you have to adjust to is the entrance through the kitchen. You yeah. know, that's not something we do over there in the U.S. Right. But it's just kind of, I understand, you know, the kitchen is where the food is. And the, where the food is, where everyone meets. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of, it's very important in the Italian tradition is to meet and cook and socialize and it yeah. makes sense, you know, when you kind of experience that. Yeah. It's the most important room in the house. Yes. You know, you almost never see a ceiling fan and that one's not like a normal ceiling fan and it's putting off just tons of air. Now, where on earth did you find that? Amazon Italy. Amazon. <laughs> when you have a 28 year old son yeah. and he doesn't want to drive more than the 3,000 miles he drove in one month. You go on Amazon and you find things I, <laughs> and, they I, deliver. and they deliver. And they deliver. <laughs> I, I found that Amazon here has been very good. Like our friend Donetta that just bought a place, bought a Traeger stove, had it shipped from Amazon but through in from the U.S. Oh. But Amazon here had the Traeger pellets, the, the barbecue pellets, yes. Yeah. Yes. which are hard to find here. and But they stock them Amazon they, to her house in 48 hours. Oh, yeah. Almost so like you never good. left uh, yeah. Bethesda. The, the caveat that you have to learn is when, you, when you're out on a farm and you want a delivery, you have to have an Italian number because even if you're not home, they need to make contact with you. So they have to be able to call you and say, this is you. And then sometimes they'll leave the package, sometimes they won't if you're not here. It's, it, there's so many different companies that Amazon uses to bring your products. And we, we ordered a lot. It just saves so much time. Uh, speaking of delivery, um, you want to share with them the story this morning? My delivery guy came today, and it was oh, it was 10 o'clock, and it was already 80 degrees Fahrenheit. And I said, it's hot. And he said, yeah, you have a pool, though. And I said, do you want to take a dip? And he said he didn't have shorts. And I said, I'll go get you some. So I got him Mojave wow. shorts. <laughs> and he took a dip. Nice. But he's our delivery guy. So yeah, yeah, no, you got to take have. care of him. And you know, the funny thing is I was painting at the pool. You know, I was uh, doing a small project. And then I see this guy. It's like, I know this swim trunk. You know? <laughs> <laughs> but then, like, no way he got the same one I got. And it's like, okay, I kept it to myself. And he's like, thank you for the swim trunk. I'm like, thanks, Catherine. Yeah, yeah. When the Italian guy walks up wearing your shorts, know, like, you might have an issue, right? All right. I didn't think of it that way. Yeah. Of course I would. On that note, let's go to yeah. <laughs> so this is the first bathroom. Nice and big. Yes. I know, buddy. Charlie, Charlie found the uh, Italian oh, dog right. fountain in the bathroom. Turn it on so they can have a nice. Nice and big. Yeah, so one so, one bathroom, yeah. So the house was being used as four bedrooms, but we converted one of these bedrooms into a sitting room. Nice. So this is the first bedroom, the green bedroom. Nice and big. Mm-hmm. Easily fit a king. Yeah. <laughs> the house I mean, is furnished, so... <laughs> 
they don't use a lot of kings here. Kings bed. No. Mostly it's queen, yeah. We did, a, we did 200 200s for our apartments, oh, the biggest did. size. Yeah. This is nice, by the way. Yeah. Just, everything's in great, you can tell everything here is in great condition. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. You guys did. You guys did nice. Thank you. Oh, wow. oh so that's nice. So this is the bedroom converted conversion. Converted to a sitting room. The the owner she felt like there's a doorway here, so down the road we would like to open this between the kitchen and here. Smart. Uh -huh. So it'd just be one big room. Mm -hmm. So that's you know long term goal. You don't buy it just for a short term. For right. us, it right. wasn't just investment. It was long term. So Do you think you guys will ever live here permanently? If you ask me, I would tell you probably 90% yes. But the others are still on the fence. Yeah, give them time. Yeah, yeah. They, what eventually, visit? they eventually suck you in. <laughs> yeah. When you go back and get your uh, $8 uh, cup of Starbucks. I know, I know. Tell me about it. Yeah. So to the right is oh, another sorry. bedroom. This one is the only bedroom on this floor that has terracotta. It's a huge room. Nice. And then the view from this bedroom is amazing oh. as well. Not not. Well, then I have to go open the thing to check it out. Of course. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it's amazing. To wake up every morning. You guys are being pretty nosy dogs. Yeah. That's why you're not in every Brad's World video. People always say, why don't you put your dogs in the video? Because like herding cats. And y'all said that the place came with a lot of furniture? All, almost all the furniture. Wow. I the beds, the iron beds had glass and iron nightstands, but I wanted different ones. So these two bedrooms I've already sourced out. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, you're having to find secondhand shops, which I wanted. Right. I wanted things that were more rustic. That's on a farm. And we should mention that uh, Catherine's an interior designer back in the U.S., <laughs> so she knows her stuff. And another just amazing view. Blam. Imagine waking up to this, guys. Oh, it's amazing. Wow. And you can do it. These guys did it. She did it. She did yes, it. I did. <laughs> we're, we're actually technically still doing it because you better pack a whole box full of patients when you move here because... Uh, that is for sure. <laughs> Good God. And, then, <laughs> and the last bathroom on this floor. And one more nice bathroom. The view will be the same. It has a nice walk-in shower. And if you've watched my channel, you know I had a big slip and fall two years ago that deprived me of my using my right arm for much more than holding this one-pound camera. And uh, I'm a very big proponent of having easy walk-in, not stepping into slopey tubs. Because accidents do happen, take it from me. Very nice bathroom. So, how many places overall did you guys look at before you picked this one? Uh, as far as houses, we looked at between eight to ten houses. Actually, we drove like two thousand kilometers and just going around Tuscany, and just uh, we leave at eight o'clock in the morning and we get back home by seven or eight. So it's like twelve hours, just nonstop. The one advice I would give someone is thinking as far as uh, purchasing something, a house, especially a house. Um, you're going to see so many uh, crazy ideas, honestly. I mean, sometimes you're like, what? Uh, why they're doing this? I mean, they look at things different than us living in the United States. So the one thing you have to look at is before you make a purchase, make sure that you're up to, if there's a project involved, you're up to it, and you're in a foreign country, so you have to have connection as far as uh, electrician, plumber, you know. Um, where do you find this stuff? 
So that's one thing we kind of made us, you know, decide on this house. It's complete, you know, it's just, you don't have to do uh, anything. Just walk in and live in it. It's furnished, everything's available, and it made it a much easier transition for us. Um, okay, no, but okay. since we live in the US, so we, we're not in, the, in Italy, you know, it's like 24 seven. So you want something that it's complete, it's just, you open the door and you walk in and you know and things stay. Okay. Put your bags down and go right. enjoy Italy. Right. I get a lot of people that want to get a ruin and turn a ruin into this. And I tell them, if that's really what you want to do, that's fine. However, be advised, it'll probably be less expensive to buy something that's pretty much right. to your liking and then do some small things right. to uh, do. And, and Brad, it's like one thing you know, I would say, the Italian way, it's slow and one thing we found out they have a lot of holidays here so you might you know it's everything demand everything is tomorrow for them you know it's not for us you know we have to finish it today they're t they take their time and so the money is very popular word here everything is demand and for us i want to finish it today it doesn't work this way you have to be patient you have to work with them and you have to work with their system not on our system and that's kind of one thing we learned a lot that you have to be patient here and they enjoy life life and uh, time is not important to them they want to enjoy life different than us yeah very different and that's why we're here in, in a lot of ways well let's go see the special honeymoon suite all right Catherine, lead us to the honeymoon suite <laughs> they won't like it up here it's hot it's a little hotter Move in. Cute. Oh, wow. And then it's got an ensuite with a I like light. it. Isn't this nice? It's, it's, it's separate. beautiful. It's separate from the rest of the house. So if you have guests, and that's why I dubbed it the honeymoon suite. Yeah. <laughs> Honey, this is our bedroom. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Come on and stay. When you do rentals, are you doing them mostly for a week at a time? We've left it open, but it, the only restriction is a minimum of three nights. Yeah. Yeah. But do most people stay for like a week? Yes. Our first renter, two weeks. The next one is staying three nights, four days. Yeah. So, yeah. I also want to mention the lights. The uh, light picture is pink. Uh, <laughs> it's also pink. It's the pink. Here we go. Let there be light. The pink room. That's <laughs> nice. <a pink> <laughs> All right, and we still have the whole cantina level to see. Well, we still have, yep. You guys okay? This is Steve. Yeah, that's a, that's a, <laughs> this is hobby, and he likes to. So we have the hammocks ready to come and relax. Yeah, nice shade. I like this outdoor downstairs eating area. This is great. The two twins set up in here for now, and then there's another bathroom around this corner. Love the stone. Did they tell you what the building age was? 1400s. 1400 was the original building here. Wow. Yeah. So this is a nice ensuite. suite. Yeah. Spacious. Mm-hmm. Wet shower. So when there's no glass enclosure, they call it a wet shower. And Catherine was saying it functions to clean your bathroom at the same time as you take a shower. <laughs> it's a two for one. Oh, two for one. <laughs> Isn't that nice? I love the stone. Yeah, I know. And they did a nice job with this glass. It's really pretty. That's obviously much newer. But and then the doors oh. are the original. Yeah, original doors. Wow. Yeah. Look at that. Except they're not high. <laughs> Luckily, I'm not that tall. <laughs> this one, you're gonna, you might. Can y'all imagine sitting out here, having their lunch? I know, right? Which we're about to do. I don't even have to imagine it. Jamal, their son's over there barbecuing for us right now. So this is their game room. Very nice. Like it. Nice. Try it. 
And this is our bar over there, so we open that. Nice. We don't say master anymore. Look at these beams. It's like a commercial stove. Yeah. Nice. Very nice. nice. Yeah. Oh. You guys did good, man. Thank really you. Thank good. you. Really and, uh, good. You know, I'll give Jamal and Catherine a big credit because I was busy in the States working. They were making these trips to Italy. It takes time to decide. Uh, and one thing I want to mention, Brad, probably, you know, a lot of people ask me is, how do you pick the, the location? How do you know this is the right space? And it's just, our experience, we started in Florence. Then we had a kind of branch out to Rome. And we were thinking to buy an apartment. And it's just take you one step after another, and then discussion and this. And then it's just apartment was too uh, small for us. We want something where we can enjoy down the road as far as in our thinking retirement something to do so they start thinking about you know a house and then why not a house with a farm and that's mm -hmm. kind of how the whole idea developed and the pool and the pool and yeah the pool. That's, that's, that's a bonus <laughs> but it, it's just the the location it was the the view that's kind of what we're looking for is what you see right there it's just imagine living your life waking up in the morning if you were a coffee drinker you know starbucks would be great but <laughs> <laughs> italian coffee is good as well uh, but you wake up in the morning okay. to that view mm -hmm. but think about the evening too you know, like around four or five o'clock you have a glass of wine or if you're a beer drinker i mean this is the life you want to live honestly it's just uh, the way we look at it you know between us we worked hard earlier in our age we're putting these 40 50 hours and this is kind of the reward i mean that's, that's kind it. of how you reward yourself at the end that's why i quit when i quit i quit at 57 yeah. i'd already done 35 years mm -hmm. of working for myself working hard taking risk this is my reward and yeah. i don't feel bad at all about not doing anything until noon Correct. right now and someday i'll go back and maybe do something professional again but maybe not because i live in italy I don't have to. The option is there. It, it's yeah. so inexpensive to live here I know. that you don't have to do anything. And, and to, to, your, to your point, that anyone can do that. It's just you have to plant the seed. And then you see how the seed's going to grow. And you're going to have some challenges, of course. We had some challenges, you know, because the Italian way, you know, they require so many details. You know, I'll mention something as far as transferring the money from the U.S. to Italy. It's not this easy. <laughs> it's not this easy. And it, it does cost you. I mean, to transfer money from one country to another, there is a charge for that. So if you do your research, you can save money, but you have to do your, you know, right. uh, homework as far as, you know, uh, the best option for you. But uh, definitely it's worth every minute we spent, every hour we spent, you know, looking for houses, you know, driving, what, 3,000 3, 3, miles, you know, just looking for that Kilometers. perfect... <laughs> oh, not miles, yeah, kilometers. <laughs> Looking for that perfect... Uh, Felt like house. miles. Yeah, I know. So <laughs> On at, these windy know, roads. At the end, the dream uh, is the dream. coming to fruition. Yeah. Well, I think you guys did excellent. And I can't imagine a more classic... When people think of buying a place in Italy, this is what they think of. I'm yeah. telling you, this is exactly what they think of. It In the hills, rustic... Swimming pool. That's what they. That's not what they think of. That's what they dream of, and I think you guys found basically the perfect house. And so I congratulate you. Uh, I want to remember, remind everybody. Thank Catherine and Mohammed. It's really nice for people to open up a home for the only reason that they wanted to show you guys. And of course, I'll put the link if you want to rent this place. I'll put the link in the thing. And they produce. They produce olive oil and they produce honey. 
and I'll put the link in for that too. And they're getting that up and running. They have a little website already set up. And so thank you guys so much for letting us all come up here. You're welcome. I'm if hungry. I, if I can yeah. add for you. Oh, please. Watching you all these years, seeing you as an American come over here, your passion, your drive, your excitement, just showing homes now, not just these are ones I'm purchasing and I'm fixing, but here's what you can do. Mm -hmm. It's like you start to think, wow, I can do this. Right. And, you know, at, at this age, saying I can do something like this, you know, it's, yeah. it was that far away star that we captured. Well, good. Well, I'm glad it's uh, helpful for everybody. Uh, you, I enjoy Bill. doing what I do. Uh, so it's, uh, it's a real uh, symbiotic relationship for me. And then you can do it, like our friend Donetta just moved here. Yeah. I'm under uh, federal regulations that I cannot say how old she is. <laughs> but let me tell you, if she can do it, I don't want to hear anything from anybody. You can do this basically at any age. Correct. Yes. So, okay. Yeah. You ready to eat? Yes. Oldie's okay. always ready. I'm hungry. <laughs>